What's good and Omni fam? I'm Ads. I'm Terry. And welcome to a new reaction video. What do we have today? We have rap against dictatorship. Yes. This is like new territory. Yes, um, this is um something we haven't done anything of to be honest. Yeah. It's um a recommendation we've had from one of our subscribers. Not gonna mention who, you know why. Um but yeah, this is gonna be interesting for us, man. We think it's gonna be some serious shit, which we're mm -hmm. really excited to learn yeah. more about. Um, for new subscribers, I'm a rapper producer. I'm a director, screenwriter. Um, and we've been dropping a music video for every week. Um, this, every week. Yeah, on every Saturday. And we just dropped our fifth one this Saturday. Um, and if you've kind of checked those out already, you'll know that we do kind of like talking about certain issues yeah, and, you know, sure. not going to try and explain it. Just go, you know, head over and watch that. Down you'll, below. you'll understand. In the but yeah, um, let's get into this. Oh shit. Oh wow. He said the minister's watch belongs to a ghost. Do you know how do you know how ridiculous that is? He's talking about kind of war crimes and mm -hmm. how, you know, the money and stuff like that, how it's like blood money and you know just mm -hmm something really serious and something i not had i didn't know what was going on here mm. so this is interesting the video is incredible from what i'm seeing because you have this circular shot yeah the, where the... you have people in the crowd kind of you know cheering them on um almost like spectators to what's going on you know but it could reflect the fact that they're not in a position to act. All they can do is watch because if the ministers, if the people in power have the power, what, what, what can they do? It's insane. And the kind of, they, it's kind of, they're walking in circles as they're rapping these lines. It's <laughs> cyclical. Yeah. Fucking insane. Oh, so it's like a lot of them, different rappers. Oh, wow. So, so he said, um, he said something about the law stretching out. So yeah. if you guys know, Luffy's basically like an anime character and his hands can literally stretch wow. for on and on. So that shows like the reach. Like it's just, yeah. it's it's almost like, you know, you said the people in the background and then it's like, well, if he, if they can reach you, yeah. you know, and they can hurt your family, then yeah. you're in a wow. tough position. Wow. Or bullets. I mean, stop this. Eat, this is eat too the fucking... truth or bullets. I've never done this before. I need to Google what the, this shit is fucking nuts. Like, has this been picked up? Like, because this is like, it seems like they're just some ind like independent rappers. Do you know what is I mean? It, is it, yeah, so collect. I could, are they, um? If, if you know, please tell us. Is this like a, are they like a collection of rappers or is this just. Um, kind of like a, a joint effort. I mean, it's been covered on like certain news sites or whatever, but like Al Jazeera and whatnot. But like this, this is nuts to me because they're talking about so much real stuff that's going on 
that we didn't know that's going mm. on in Thailand and it's yeah and the it's, li- uh, and to do it in like the lyricism is a one as well like it's hard hitting but the 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 hard part which is almost the best part is is true you yeah. know it it's it's true and they're delivering it in such a raw and you know yeah just angsty. i mean i've got like personal like personal kind of not connections but stories i'll talk about a little more when mm. we finish it because i want to keep going but it's like there's so much here that i feel like we can talk about okay let's but... just quick yeah. and they're covering their faces because they can't be yeah. seen They'll force you to live. I love their saying that that chorus that this is my country. Wow. And you, they're still wow. cheering. Even if, even the PM, the PM is picked. So if if you can't even choose your own elect leader, and I, what what is really surprising about this is in the you know in the West, Thailand is really highlighted as a you know holiday vacation kind of destination. Yeah. Um, but we and never this really, shit is never we given never a really see more into thailand apart from you know those nice images of islands and stuff so it's crazy if you notice the video is black and white like there's no there's no kind of thrills or they're spills. not trying it's to a, give you that nah, nah no, this is real this as isn't it gets. a vacation spot this is the truth it's, it's... Mm. wow okay so no no attempt really to hide the face no. he's so this... telling it how it is brave <laughs> brave Wow. You see the emotion in their faces. Wow. Drunken ignorance. So I really like this guy, like his metaphors and imagery and symbolism. Mm. Ooh, there's the color. Mm. Oh. Ah. Yo, what the f- What's that? It oh. looks like someone's been hung up, beaten. Oh my goodness. Polarizing the people is the authoritarian's ultimate weapon. When this happens, the people's power will be taken away. In the memory of all victims from all state crimes, all people unite. Okay. I don't even... So... As I said, I think this image of Thailand, at least for me, 
has been shattered. Not I haven't been there, but um, it's very interesting. The power of the media, the power of suppression, the power uh-huh. of censorship, the power of author- authoritarianism has. I imagine that these guys are putting themselves at risk yeah. by doing this. Um, however, I can say from the bottom of my heart, I am super grateful. Uh, thankful that they were brave enough to mm. do something that's potentially put their lives in danger but at the same time educate the world because as you said it was on like Al Jazeera yeah. and different um, news channels although I don't think it's got picked up as much as, as much as it should have to be honest because this is like this is like this is what activism is like right you get mm. I don't even want to get too much into it, but it's like you get certain people, certain rappers here that will have one or two bars about politics and the most surface level yeah. shit and they get branded political. That shit yeah. is not political. That's, that is, that's, that's what politics, like, that's political rap. And rap in itself is the interesting medium because if you notice wherever it, it always stems from oppression, like, it obviously originated from, you know, New York and the kind of racial oppression that was going on there. But now that you see it popping around, like popping up around the world in the 40 plus years that's kind of existed, it's always come from places of oppression mm. because rap is a form of activism in that, in, you know, in that uh, context. So this is what, this is as pure as it gets. And what was being said here was alarming like it's you know we're talking about things like that we take as a given freedom of speech yeah so i used to so i've worked for a, um a charity in the past called amnesty international and one of the things we used to fundraise for and kind of campaign against was literally when people journalists and um you know just people who would try and report what was going on in their country yeah and they would get sentenced to prison. They would get beat up. They would get sometimes lynched. They would get killed mm. because all they're doing is airing now what's going on in front of them. And to us, you know, free press, we think, of course, you should be able to say what's going on in front yeah. of you. O- obviously, there's a limit with certain views and certain, you know, race, racism, fuel views and stuff like that. But when you're literally just calling out like corruption mm. um war crimes and you know all of these concepts that these guys were talking about i couldn't think of a better name rap against dictatorship like it's phenomenal it's probably the best video i've seen this year easily and it's not it, it didn't have a big budget it didn't have it didn't have it didn't need it because I, that's real I as think, hell i think some as you say, sometimes the best videos can be the most brutal, like yeah. just brutally simple. But I think the highlight, not the highlight, but the real kind of all moment for me was seeing that person who'd been hanged up. Um, I believe there's some truth to that. So if I'm correct, I think I heard a story about a student being yeah. dragged and hung and stuff like that. So I assume That's that him. could be him or you know many like him who maybe you well, know they were talking about yeah. it in that point so it makes sense yeah um for probably what he probably did was literally just talk about what was going on it's a it's a messy thing man um it's crazy that we're reacting to this you know on today or four days given the kind of video that we've just put out um I don't want to plug it too much. If you if you're interested in you know listening to music that does speak about these kind that of has, issues, uh, you know it is something that's important to us and it is something that we're passionate about. Um, and at, that's what we do with, yeah, with our music. At the core of anomaly is this feeling, is this sentiment of we want to use our platform to talk about issues and yeah. learn about. You know, 100, yeah. learn about different things. So, um, I definitely say if you want to see or just, you know, if you just want to hear about, you know, things that we care about and things that exactly. we feel are important, 
Um, and this is definitely something that's yeah, you know, please important. Please check. Man. It's in the description. Check below. it in the description. If you haven't watched any of our videos so far, I just recommend start from the first one home. Yeah. And you know, you never know. You might be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, man. Um, thank you for this recommendation. If you're, you know, if there are people watching this. Oh, thank you for sticking it out. Thank you. Do tell us what you want us to react to and stuff. We do listen to you guys in the comments. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say, man. Until next time. See ya.